Ahoy, fellas! It's time for epilogue, and I must say, um, I, what, what all has happened? There are a couple interesting things. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Um, let's see, what all has happened in the past couple days? Uh, let's see. Okay, I really gotta step. Let's start again, how about? So, I've calmed down a little bit. Um, hey honey, is that you? Yeah, yeah. If you want to talk. Oh, cool, let's talk to my mother who's totally all in one piece. Oh, she is actually all in one piece, that's nice. Hello, mother, how are you? Yeah. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Good enough to jump up on the counter, yep. Stay home tonight. Uh, why might that be? Just... You're an adult, and uh, you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you're still my baby. Oh, that's nice. You need to come up with some ground rules, just because, honey, you could have died the other night, and you just left to hang out with your friends. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh... I've had a really tough year, Mom. You've had a tough week. Yeah. I haven't had a tough week. I've had a pretty good week, actually. I, I've, I've uh, calmed down from my uh, burning passion for a certain uh, animated foxy redhead. Um, and I, I'm glad to see that everyone agrees that that uh, a certain animated governor of California is the greatest female presence in film ever. Everyone agrees. Um, you know, I, I feel kind of bad because I wasn't paying attention at all to what these, these, uh, these women were talking to each other about. But, um, you know, should be fine. Please stay in town close? Yeah, I'll stay in town. Some, uh, longest night decorations out. Longest night? Um. Wow. What the, the fall? That's, did I? Yeah, I came back in the fall. Huh. It's been a full season. Yeah, I guess fall goes pretty quick when you live in a place with winter. I live in Texas, though, so it's just perpetual summer and then really hot summer. And then summer again, and then sometimes it freezes and we want to get rid of the railroad commission. Um, you know, no, I guess I won't know until November if we finally got rid of whoever's in charge of the railroad commission, but isn't that fun? God, I gotta remember to actually vote in local elections. I almost did, but apparently- Hey, it's my dad! And he still has both his arms. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good, honestly. My parents are still alive, and they both still have both their arms. I told Bob to shove it. Wow. Are you... No. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, jeez. Well, it ain't... It ain't mining. You, you're, you should be glad you're not in the mine right now, honestly. They don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Have a life and stuff. You're supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. Enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. Yeesh. Hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Wow, that sucks. You know, what he could have done is had a daughter that actually went to cut anyways. <laughs> uh, it's just easier to say it than get it done. These unions are such a great thing. Yep. Always there in the mines in the factory. At least for a while. Here. So I'm going to be around tonight for dinner. Wow, that, what's the occasion? Uh, nice. Hey, I'm gonna actually eat dinner with my parents. 
I'm actually funny relevant stuff right so I I live with my dad right now um, while I'm out of college for the summer and I, I swear I only eat dinner with them like half the time and the other half the time they're either like out to eat or in another city entirely <laughs> And it was funny, though, because I was- Hey, she still has both her arms, too. Dude, which cat did I rip the arms off of? I'm working, May. <laughs> What's wrong? A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh, what? What kind of calls? People not coming back home for the night? You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. May? Yes? Yes? Yes, Aunt Malka? Spit! Spit it on me! Just be careful. We like Aunt Malka. She's one of the good ones. Our proud, uh... I'd say boys in blue, but I'm pretty sure Molly's the only cop we really know about, and she's not a boy, so, you know. God, is there a, is there a, is there a, a color of blue that isn't, um, starts with, like, G or something? Our, our, our ladies in lapis, some crap like that. Our, uh, our, uh, women in... Uh, hey, it's the janitor. Yep, yep. How about that? For now, at least. What do you mean, for now, at least? I'm the janitor. Oh my gosh, that's his name? Last name janitor, first name the. That's pretty great, actually. This man is the, is the friggin... He's the, he's the... Larry Needle, <laughs> Larry Needlemeyer, of <laughs> of Night in the Woods. Things are not at all like I remember them. No, not in the slightest. Things are very different. But time does that to a place. The place stays the same, but the people are different. You don't really remember a place for just being a place. And time always changes people. Most of them. But hey, at least it's something you can relatively well count on. And it ain't exactly the most disappointing thing when someone stays as you know them. That's nice. Well, unless you don't like them, but you know. Who the heck, who the heck in this day and age still, uh, I don't know, keeps any amount of tabs on people they don't like? I'm pretty sure. I was under the impression people just completely cut off anyone that was a moderate inconvenience or led to any amount of discomfort. <laughs> yeah, anyways. I'm probably only saying that because I'm one of those people. <laughs> Scratch that. I'm definitely only saying that because I'm one of those people. I'd say it's probably still observable, maybe. But it's definitely... Uh, what did you even fix, janitor dude? It's it's not even it's not even midday how much I'm at. Unless it is I don't know. Ha ha ha. Well it's nice to know that none of the people I know are now dead. What? How did he know my name? Heck. Mr. Janitor. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. I can't go into the old pickaxe, though. Well, on our way. Did I ever finish talking about... What was I gonna say? Oh, you know what else? Hey, this guy looks new. How are you doing, friend? Yes, fall is sure ending. I like how it's getting colder outside. This is the first likely cold-blooded resident I've ever seen here. You spend a lot of time indoors in the summer, and then you come out in the fall? And the winter? Yeah? And I like the cold. Why? You look like a lizard. Maybe he's a frog. I don't know. Sometimes I stand cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. 
chills me out a bit. Oh, that's that's swell. <laughs> I mean, there, there would probably have to be a gust for it to work. It's cold. Maybe too cold. <laughs> you can go get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. Endless cycle of entropy. Because we are uh, never at thermal equilibrium with our environment. I don't know about never, I guess. This is what air conditioning is for. I have a, I have a renewed... Um, it's not renewed because I never had it in the first place, but I have a renewed uh, respect for for air conditioning. Not to the point of you know building a statue of the guy that invented air conditioning in Miami, but you know now that it's something that I'm involved in professionally, I kind of have to respect it because it gets me paid. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you maybe should have put your arm down a long time ago. Okay? Blood all ran out of my arms. You know what? Just because it's even slightly relevant, I'm going to mention it now. I watched Jurassic World Dominion not too long ago, and one of the things that sticks out to me as just being whack is that one of the whole, one of like the prevailing theories of why, to what the heck, possibilities turned into a freaking taco store. I mean, possibilities turned into a freaking taco store! Yay! Alright. They got rid of all those snakes in the diner. Wow. Anyways, it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. It takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric. I like the uh, inclination that a GIF is only three, a third the size of a, an entire torrent film. And they deliver, that's nice. I wonder if anybody works here. Evidently not. Oh, hey. Yeah, evidently not. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. At least that means holding this sign in the snow. Hey, it's not, yeah, it's not something that hard. That's what I was about to say. Who doesn't like tacos? Honestly, tacos are pretty good. I, I always end up, like... Hard tacos suck. Um, that's not even a hot take. It's just the correct opinion. Hard tacos are terrible. But um, I always end up with soft tacos just basically turning them into burritos. What was I going to say before I started talking to the taco place? God, wouldn't it be cool if I could rewind the video? Wouldn't that be nice, huh? So... Greg should be at the Snelton. There he is. What was I going to talk about? No, I was talking about it already in the process of talking about it. The taco buck. Well, probably not too important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I got a new phone, right? And it's funny because it's one of the ones that uses like Face ID instead of um, a thumbprint. And I was thinking about it when I got it, just like, oh, that's kind of weird. I don't want this thing to know what my face looks like. And I thought more about it when I got home. I'm like, that's the stupidest thing I ever thought. I, tr I trusted a phone with my very, very identifiable thumbprints, both of them, and one of my fingers, because I put three different fingers on my phone, just for the sake of it. Um, yeah. And... It, it, it's it's the kind of thing that's like it's interesting the phone's kind of always watching and has that whole like attention seeking thing but at the same time at least i know it's always watching you know it comes right out and says hey it's we're always watching you you know um it might only be when it's like awake you know <laughs> this torch is done does not like to open mm. You know, doors, it, it depends on which way it is that it doesn't like to open. I was about to get into the science behind, like, thermal expansion and all that jazz. It probably is worth in the summer, honestly, if the hinges are expanding into each other. But at the same time, if it's, uh... No, yeah, it makes sense that it would be worse in the summer, I guess, unless it's, like, frosted over. 
You had to spring Angus from work. It means they're breaking out Angus from work. Where does Angus even work? I don't know if I remember where Angus worked. Didn't he work at the video store? We went into the video store and there was no one there. What's there not to understand? <laughs> yeah, Greg definitely needs Angus. I think Angus might be fine. But, yeah. There's needers and givers. <laughs> I had the, the the worst possible thought of how to possibly phrase that. Um, yeah. Greg's a nice person. He's also a bratty and irresponsible and has like his hero attention span. He needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And that's why so many men look for mothers instead of girlfriends. Um, I don't know about so many, but that was one of the things that my mom used to complain about my dad doing, apparently. So, you know. And now, lo and behold, he's married to a woman that's like five years older than him and has a hairstyle oddly reminiscent to his mother's. So, apparently Freud might have been right. Maybe. Um, I, I think about stuff like that a lot, if Freud was right. Um, I, I like to think that the answer was no. Uh, in the literal sense, no. But in the figurative sense, unless you're, like, terribly abused by your mother, she is probably one of the best, the best women you know. If you were like properly taught to respect your mother too, so I I I can I can think of a number of problems that I would have with my mother. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to date my mother um, if not on account of her being my mother or um, like I was about to say three times my age, more like two and a half. Um, there would be any number of the things and also the fact that I'm pretty sure she's well content with being alone now so I can convince myself I was fine or completely shattered just like stuck in neutral yeesh had a dream the whole world was ending no that was real we were all there um, it was in the mine you know we blew it up killed a bunch of people but they also were like feeding they were sacrificing children to Moloch and all that I guess, you know, just dead beats. Same thing. Yeah, when has a child ever paid for me, huh? <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> Little dead beats. Get a job! <laughs> the whole Cosmic Horror thing. Yeah, Cosmic Horror is wacky. But, about, like, I think about it a lot. I have a lot of respect for my mother. And when you're looking for someone to mother children, your mother is probably the greatest uh, influence in that. Because typically people think themselves to have been well raised, if they were well raised. If you weren't well raised, that sucks. You probably don't have the greatest opinion of your mother. And I don't know if it's warranted or not. It might be. If you weren't well raised, evidently so. But. At least for people like me that had a, a well enough home life. Um, I'm not going to say that everything about my mother is ideal in terms of character traits that I would look for in a woman. Uh, and I definitely don't want to be taken care of. I like the doing the taken care of part, actually. Uh, I enjoy providing for someone. Um, but, you know, it's the kind of thing that uh, my mother's the kind of woman that I... Uh, entirely comfortable uh, being entirely vulnerable to isn't that nice and I'm, I'm honestly torn between doing the, the the going hardcore kind of traditional stuff where I'm just not supposed to be weak with anything at all and doing stuff that maybe feels a bit better sometimes such as actually being vulnerable and opening up to a woman I don't know how comfortable I'd be with that right right now because I you know, 
it's not like I feel like I've been betrayed by women or anything. But... No, I haven't really been betrayed by women, honestly. But, you know, it's just interesting stuff that has gone on. How do you like get up every day and go open the store and you keep doing it? I mean, you, you do have a choice. You could not get up every day and not open the store. You absolutely do. You just you just make yourself do it. it takes a lot of control, honestly. I'm not gonna say that it takes the greatest amount of control getting out of bed, seeing as you seem to like do it, anyways. Everything's kind of relative in that sense. If it's difficult for you to get out of bed, then it takes a lot of control to get out of bed. Some people just, like, hop out of bed immediately. And it's like, that's not, it's not so much control, it's habit, you know? I've been trying to drill that into myself, the habit of just getting out of bed immediately. Because I, I, I've honestly spent too long in my adult life sitting in bed absolutely completely awake in the morning um, doing free study courses online I'm a member of the young socialists fun fun cool I sleep a lot sometimes eat pizza teach according to the book wow anyways we can fix the world together I guess light night wasn't so weird you're wrong honestly to get back some past that barely existed, same old, same old. Uh, I don't know. It seems, uh, seems a, a bit different when they're sacrificing themselves to some cosmic horror. Maybe a little bit. I might drop an elevator. We did do that too, yeah. Did we take the arm? I forget if we took the arm. Good how? Can it drive? Real far. <laughs> we should do a road trip. Ladies trip! Yeah! Gets all flat out west. You telling me these people live on like the eastern coast or something? Probably. I was about to say the Middle East. <laughs> of America. <laughs> the Middle East part of America. <laughs> the Mid East? Uh, like. <laughs> there's just northeast and southeast there's middle america and there's midwest but there's no middle east america is there it's just northeast and southeast i guess there's kind of middle east like what else would you call i was about to say virginia but i guess virginia is south technically you know even if they wanted to be just middle no one's gonna let them be just middle after the civil Every everybody on the East Coast has a very, or even just like the entire like eastern half of the country, has a very uh, distinguished dividing line, where you can say this is north and this is south because at some point they identified heavily with either of those two labels. Yeah, we're planning the freaking trip. Heck yeah. You're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. We're not dead by then. Lol. <laughs> it's actually kind of. A are we are we jamming? Heck yeah. <laughs> hey, one last jam sesh. We're going to make jam. It's you who are nerds. <laughs> You've never been so insulted. I don't know, Angus. You never really look insulted. <laughs> I guess just just too put together to be insulted by anything. I didn't really know fiction. Yeah. Oh, and what about? It? Just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Oh. Yeah. He was a he was a good one. That's nice. How quaint. Do we probably not? Tell them that he was thrown into a hole in the middle of town. Yeah, I don't know if that's a great idea. I feel like they'll tell their parents things so they at least get a body. <laughs> you know, 
at least uh, at least now his, their parents can think he ran off or something, you know. But this is just it sounds like a cruel joke, you know. I mean, we were close with your son. We found out some old guys threw him into a big bottomless hole in a mine that we then blew up. Yep. Uh, I'd say song and pizza is a pretty good answer, I must say. Um, you know, when I was down there last night, I made the decision not to die, or at least uh, not die without a fight. The thing down there told me that nothing would save me forever. Um, yes. It's been talking to me for a long time. Just didn't know what it was. But anyway, nothing is going to save us forever. A lot of things can save us now. Very nice. Very nice. Live for now. I said that without even thinking about it. I can see how easily the Pepsi people made that commercial. Without thinking too hard about it. Yeah. I, I thought about... Well... I do wonder how many people just completely mis misinterpreted the commercial. Because um, I got it instantly when they said live for now, you know. It was like, live for now, you know, it was live for the moment. Um, I didn't need to explain that, hopefully. But it was interesting when that commercial came out, everybody was kind of in arms. Ooh, it's a finale! That's right! You didn't know it was a finale when I put it in the title, did ya? <laughs> That's right, we're gonna watch credits now. Roll em, boys! <laughs> I remember not to yell into this freaking mic. God. So, yeah. Let's see, rundown of the topics I've talked about. This new phone I got is interesting. Face ID is weird, sort of, but, I mean, uh, not as weird as giving Apple my thumbprint. Um, what else? My parents leave me alone sometimes. But, at the same time, there's, there's one thing that I think maybe, I'm not going to say it sets me apart from a lot of people, I'd imagine that this is a relative constant within humans in general, for social creatures, but I really, I, I just don't know, like my ex, she got into a funk every now and again, where she just had to just be alone and not talk to anyone for like a day or two, and I get, I get super stir crazy, just like being left alone in a house, for more than a day, you know, I'll survive, and I, I mean, I'm, I've been surviving being left home when my dad goes to Las Vegas without me with his wife, and goes to bowling tournament and stuff, um, <laughs> um, but it's, it, it gets weird, you know, the last time I was home alone for a week, I had someone over, and that's now a story that I've told a number of times, where, uh, there's a, a botched home date where I was being a selfish dickhead, and completely ruined, uh, my relationship with someone that I now think of as probably relatively shallow and oversensitive, but, uh, it kinda goes both ways, honestly. Charcoal! Yes! Yes, I mean I can be uh I can be a stupid dickhead, and the other person be maybe not shallow but oversensitive. Uh, at the same time, you know, really just expedites the end of the relationship, which is fine, seeing as it probably would have ended anyways. Uh, if not then, then maybe after I was actually invested, which would have sucked a lot. But, you know. Speaking of endings, that's the end of this episode. And I guess the end of this series, huh? 
It's a weird one, I must say. It did not feel like a single night. It was many nights. This is, this is like what? The, the... Dang, and it got, got rid of my freaking file too? <laughs> cool, great. Play Longest Night? Oh yeah! We have these! Dude. Not finale? You ha- You thought when I put finale in the in the in the title it would actually be the finale, you freaking moron? Aha! I'm having the time of my life, guys, honestly. I've I've uh I've really been feeling a lot better, honestly. I still do dumb shit. It makes me feel like an idiot, you know? But I don't think anybody really ever stops doing stupid crap that makes them feel dumb. It's humbling in its own way, but I... I don't know. I, I've, I've started to be able to think about it in a way where it's just funny instead of being the kind of crap I want to, like, die over. Not that I've ever really wanted to die over my own stuff. That's always been extra. Not always. I haven't wanted to die for a really long time. And I haven't wanted to not be here. Which is nice. It's coming around. It's coming around. It only gets better. I'm living that. Anyways. Let's hope this series only gets better, huh? Longest night, last kind of lost constellation. On the next episode of Night in the Woods. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'll throw you down a well. Goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.